Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss some more concepts related to Kafka. Okay, already in my previous videos, I have covered how to install Kafka in our Windows machine and how to connect Kafka with Python. Along with that, I have also covered that how we can basically use Kafka Snowflake connector jar for ingesting the data or messages from a Kafka topic to a Snowflake table in near real time, right? So if you want to know those detailed explanations, you can go through the link given in the description box. Now today in this video, I am going to discuss some very important concepts related to Kafka, okay? So as a first step, what I will do, I will start the zookeeper. So here you can see my zookeeper is started. And then here in another terminal, I will basically start my Kafka server, okay? So here our Kafka server started. And now what I will do for this demo, I am going to create a topic having the name demo testing one, okay? So I will open another terminal and I will paste this code to create the topic and then here you will see that topic demo testing one is created okay. Now what I will do I will start my producer okay on this particular topic demo testing one right. So I will just copy that one and I will paste this and I will hit an enter okay right. So here our producer is started here you can see this console came. And now we can basically publish any messages in that topic using this particular producer, okay. And if you see the consumer, this is the code. And the topic name, I'll be putting this one only, that is demo testing one. And then here I will start the consumer, okay. I'll open a comment prompt and I'll paste that and I will hit an enter, okay, right. Now, I will just make this little bit like this way. So that this is our producer and here this is our consumer okay right so if i put hello here in the consumer you will see hello is coming okay hi this is from the single producer okay like that if i write here also it is coming right so that means producer is producing messages and publishing in the kafka topic from the topic the consumer is picking up the messages okay up to this it is very simple so once we spin up both our producer and consumer we have published some messages in the topic and we have seen that the consumer can consume the messages from the topic whatever our producer is producing and publishing in the topic right now what i will do i will open another consumer okay which is basically consuming the message from the same topic in a new comment prompt okay so here i will just open my comment prompt and here i will take a little bit right side and i will hit enter okay so if i just hit enter here you will see what is happening hello and hi this is from the single producer these two messages the second consumer just now what we spinned up that has consumed and basically printing in the console okay so that means you are understanding a very important point that is it is not like one producer can produce and publish message in a topic and one single consumer can consume that okay because here we have seen we have spinned up second consumer that is also able to consume that so it is not like once the message is consumed by one single consumer, it cannot be consumed by others. It can be consumed by others if it is available in the topic, okay. So very important point is Kafka cluster store the messages even if they were already consumed by one of the consumers, okay. This is very important first conclusion, okay. Like here we have seen, as you can see that when we started our second consumer, then all the first two messages are consumed by the first consumer but still the second consumer is also printing that in the console that means second consumer also able to consume the same messages okay then second important point same message can be read multiple times by different consumer that is basically nothing but first point only in different terms 
and the another very important point is multiple consumers can read messages from kafka topic in parallel okay let's see that so here our producer single producer and two consumer are there so currently my cluster situation is one producer multiple consumer so suppose i am producing a message school and hitting enter here you will see that here school came and in the second one also school came so in both the consumer it is consumed parallelly okay maybe i can write india okay if i hit enter here you will see here also india came that is first consumer has consumed as well as the second consumer also has consumed the message right maybe i can write nepal okay if i hit enter here you will see that in the first consumer as well as in the second consumer nepal came okay maybe i can give another thing i love my country if i just hit enter here you will see in both the consumer the messages are getting published parallelly okay so this is very important point multiple consumers can read message from kafka topic in parallel okay i hope you have got this now what we will do we have till now seen one single producer and multiple consumer now let's see multiple producer multiple consumer scenario okay so for that what i will do i will basically spin up another producer for this particular topic okay so i will just copy this one and here i will open another comment prompt i will just make it little bit smaller and i will put that here okay so here basically we are starting our producer which is another producer in the topic okay so currently cluster situation is multiple producer multiple consumer okay right so that's what what we have created and now we will try publishing messages from different producer and observe the outcome in the consumer side okay so you will see how it is working so what i can do maybe one message i can put from first producer demo from first one okay if i hit enter here you will see in both the consumer parallelly the message is published okay and here i can publish some message from the second producer so demo from the second producer if i just do and hit enter here you will see parallelly in both the consumer the message is coming which is produced by our second producer okay hi there if i just publish another message from the second producer in both the consumers parallelly it is getting consumed okay here i can put in the first producer hello world if i just hit enter here you will see hello world is coming as well as here it is coming so what you are getting that is here are the important conclusions okay that is producers and consumers don't know about each other they are just doing their job producer is producing messages and consumer is consuming messages how many producers are there how many consumers are there where there is single producer multiple consumer nature of cluster or the cluster nature is multiple producer multiple consumer or multiple producer single consumer that does not matter okay they are just doing their own job they are not looking how many producer or consumer are there okay first producer don't know anything about the second producer or other consumers and similarly the second producer also don't know how many consumer are there and even second producer don't know about the first producer okay and consumers also don't care about the producer which has produced the message whether that is first one or whether that is second one as long as the messages are pu getting published in the topic the consumers can basically consume the messages maybe that is one consumer multiple consumer does not matter okay they just consume the messages okay so like just for example i can stop one producer and if i show you the impact you will see that nothing is impacted that much let me show you so what i will do i will just terminate my first producer okay now only i am having my second producer running and two consumers are there so i can put hello from only two if i just hit enter here you will see in both the consumers parallelly the message is getting published okay so the thing is here producers are not knowing how many producers are there consumers are not knowing how many producers are consumers are there like that they are just doing their job consuming the messages and producing the messages that's it okay so all other components are still running when we have seen one producer is down like that okay so that is another very important concept okay right i hope you understood this 
this is basically a scenario where multiple producers and multiple consumers are working i hope this has given you some more idea some more concepts related to kafka which is a very popular tool for event data processing and i hope you understood this this is all for my this video i will request you to go through my previous videos where i explained the kafka installation and some more concepts from scratch and in my upcoming videos also i will be continuing the discussion with more concepts related to kafka okay thank you for watching